If you know, you know, and who knew this outcome? Now, Lopez, he came in and he showed out. He put on a hella statement, joining the likes of Shakur, Devin Haney. He definitely co-signed himself with this type of performance. Now, if he actually could pull off the Lomachenko win, that's a different story. Then he's special, definitely. Now, the lightweight division is turning out to be one of the hottest division in boxing. Lomachenko got a lot of smoke in his hand. He gonna need to bring a vacuum probably because you got Lopez who just knocked out Kome, a proven champion in style in the second round. Nobody did it to Kome. So Lopez, he definitely shut up all the critics from the last fight, from future fights, and he definitely a Lomachenko threat. He's a threat for his throne. So like I said, the lightweight division is turning out to be one of the hottest divisions in boxing. You got Lopez, you got Devin Haney, you got Tank Davis, and we all know all of those fighters are the future pound for pound fighters in boxing, including Shakur. So that being said, Lopez definitely co-signed himself with this performance. He set up Kome, he got his head out of the center line, and he caught him with a looping right hand, while Kome was throwing his own right. He was looking to throw his own right, so he timed him perfectly. He was comfortable from round one, if y'all saw my reaction to the fight. I told y'all Lopez was coming sharp and comfortable from round one, even though he only has 14 fights against a proven veteran like Kome. And Kome was doing the right things early on. However, Lopez was still catching him with good punches, and he landed good punches on Lopez as well. See, what Kome likes to do is make you look out for the hook after he hurts you with it, then throw a bait and left hook and a sharp right. And that's how he usually hurts a lot of his opponents. However, Lopez was too sharp for him. Even when he tried to pull that move off, he came out with a counter right hand after he actually got caught himself. So like I said, Lopez was prepared uh, mentally, physically, and Kome was prepared himself it's just that he got caught with a perfect punch that Lopez caught him with, one of the knockout of the year candidates. However, certain fighters have too much heart. Some fighters lack heart and some fighters have too much heart. And some situations having too much pride and heart could end up harming you because Kome, he got up too fast in my opinion. If he stayed and took at least an eight count on his knee and then got up, he could have probably survived the round. However, we can't really tell because he was really hurt from the knockdown and Lopez went for the finish and there was a lot of unanswered punches. So that being said, congratulations to Lopez for an impressive KO victory in the second round. And Komei, I believe he will bounce back. It's a minor setback for a major comeback. Komei has a great story behind him. I got a chance to interview the brother and he's very humble, so I wouldn't write him off. Like I said, this just shows that Lopez is special. So at the end of the day, we're gonna talk more about this on Split Decision. And if you know, you know, you already know, we're gonna talk about Lopez versus Lomachenko mega fight coming up. So we're going live on Split Decision. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about the second, don't. And listen to these casual fans. Follow Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we post or go live on Split Decision. So y'all definitely don't want to miss out on that. Y'all don't want no smoke. And for the Aki family, be part of the family and subscribe. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace.